plaintiff, Courtney Marr, has been friends with the defendant since high school, and she claims the defendant is argumentative and aggressive. Courtney's suing because she co-signed on a rental car for the defendant, but she failed to return the car on time and got tickets on the vehicle. Defendant Andrea Black says she was good friends with Courtney. However, all of that changed after Andrea got in a near-fatal car accident and Courtney showed no concern. Andrea does not believe she owes Courtney for anything. Start with you. Um, so the defendant and I have known each other for about six years. Um, we met back in high school. Um, we've always been um, really good friends. Um, she has a very energetic personality, um, but there have been multiple times where we have been out and um, that energetic personality has become like aggressive or somewhat negative. What does that what mean? Does that have to do with anything? Describe that. Um, when you say aggressive, what does that mean? So I, this year, had gotten her a job or helped her get a job at the mm -hmm. restaurant that I was working at. Um, there were multiple instances where she would leave the host stand and go to the back, be on the phone for like um, a decent amount of time, like fighting with either her ex-boyfriend or somebody in her family or something like that. And um, it was kind of reflecting on her negatively. How? Um, what did she do in the restaurant, like, in the public, Like you could hear her screaming in the restaurant from the back type of thing. Okay, and you call that her being aggressive or her arguing with her family? That's what? Um, well, I'm thinking specifically of her ex-boyfriend. Um, okay. Yeah. So arguing with her boyfriend. Okay. Yeah. You threw me off when Sorry. you said aggressive. Sorry. A lot of times um, people use that to say violent. Yeah. Or trying to, I wouldn't you go know, as far to say, okay. I wouldn't say, go as far to say yeah. violent. Well, I hear a lot of but, that aggressive. Yeah. A lot of times folks implying that you're violent. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm very aggressive with my career. Yeah. A lot well, of people good. are very aggressive, yeah. and they need to be with their career. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. She said you argue with your boyfriend and your family at the restaurant. <laughs> Therefore, mm -hmm. you're an angry, aggressive uh, woman. I don't see what my phone conversations have to do with she the car does. rental. Care to explain what it has to do with she it? She says she can hear it. She don't want to hear that. But, <laughs> I mean, if it was that bad, why she would I She doesn't want to hear it. She doesn't have anywhere else to walk. Can't plug her ears. Yana. You make her stand there and listen. If anything, she should be serving, not in the back and listening to my conversations, or in the back listening to my conversations. She should be on the line or serving her guests. Makes sense to me. So, I don't get why. What do you want to tell me about your relationship with So, uh, me and Courtney's been friends, as she said, for a long time, a little over six years. Um, you know, we lived with each other for a short period of time. Um, we, she did get me the job. Recently, like, we was working with each other. Um, we were good friends. We went to concerts, um, all that good stuff. You know, like, we hanged out. We were good. It wasn't until August when I had almost lost my life in a car accident, and Courtney showed no interest. She did not care. In fact, she texted me and said to stop telling her about it. She's seen what I said, and she doesn't care. It's my karma for what happened with the rental. And that really hurt because we were really, like, I understand that $4,000, like... You're talking uh, about this claim right now, so I'm going to allow her to tell me about the claim. You threw me off when you said aggressive. Sorry. A lot of times um, people use that to say violent. Yeah. Or trying to, I wouldn't you go know, as far to say okay. I wouldn't say, go as far to say violent. Because I'm very aggressive with my career. Yeah. Well, a lot that's of people good. are very aggressive. Yeah. And they need to be with their career. Plaintiff Courtney Marr is suing her former friend, who claims after she got in a near-fatal car accident, Courtney couldn't have cared less. Go ahead. Tell me what happened to cause you to sore. So back in July, um, Andrea was looking to get a car rental to go to Connecticut for the weekend for a family reunion. Um, she was looking to leave that night, and she, doesn't, she did not have a major credit card, so she was looking for someone to sign on with her to get the rental. Um, she had asked multiple people before coming to me, um, but she did ask me. I initially told her I wasn't comfortable with that responsibility, um, but I did feel bad, and I wanted to help her a little bit, so I wanted to take her maybe to the rental place to, uh, you know, at least her, get her halfway there, but not fully put my name down. But um, I did feel bad. She was scrambling and, like, really upset, so I did cave in. She's my friend, and I helped her get the rental car. Good. There was an agreement. She was going to take it for the weekend, um, and she ended up returning it, well, allegedly returning it late. Um, she had told me in a text 
hear that she was on her way to drop off the car because I had consistently asked her, like, I asked her on the Monday that it was supposed to be returned, hey, the car's supposed to be returned in an hour, are you on your way to return the car? She told me that something had come up, but she was in contact with the rental place and that she was extending it for one day. So the next day I said, um, okay, you're on the way to drop off the car. I just said, okay, let me know what the fees are, please. And we left it at that. So my understanding is that she returned the car. I also asked her, I got an email about damages to the car. So I asked her about that. And she said, no, there's no way. I returned the car. The, um, the gentleman at the rental car company and I both checked the car and there's no damages, which means that you dropped off the car. A month later, had gone, a month had gone by, my credit card statements kept fluctuating from the rental car place. Mm -hmm. So I went in to get a final receipt um, so I could just have everything in order. They told me the car was never returned. So I, I honestly didn't think Andre did anything wrong. I thought it must be a misunderstanding because she had switched the car in Connecticut. I was like, all right, it, it must be just be um, like all over the place on paper. Let me just get in contact with her. So I reached out to her and I said, hey, I went to Enterprise to get a final receipt. They're saying you never returned the car. She starts freaking out saying, oh, I gave it to my friend. She was supposed to return it. This is the first time I'm hearing of a friend. Have now, you ever cursed your family or friends out, anybody? Have I? Yes. No. Okay, well, then that's why they're doing oh. this to you. You need to get aggressive and start doing some cussing out yeah. <laughs> what? of your family yeah. and friends <laughs> on the phone in the other room. Yeah. And hope nobody don't hear you. Well, just close the door. She wasn't, she wasn't uh, decent enough to close the door when she cussed out her boyfriend. Mm -hmm. They won't do that to her. <laughs> I mean, it ended up happening. I'm just saying. After this man, happened, we definitely to, had our Do you our like that? And see, he took advantage of your, not your kindness. Okay. from what I'm hearing. And uh, when you've asked for your money, what has she said? The most uh, recent time, tell me that. Uh, the most recent time was the time that she was um, referring to. Um, I had asked her, I was asking her every day, multiple times a day, like in, for like what the plan is. Because I felt like she was kind of sitting back waiting for What something. has she said last? Um, she said, I don't have time for this. I just got in a major car accident. And I said, what do you mean you don't have time for this? Um, like, this is money that you owe me. This is now, the accident wasn't a rental car. This is another car. When was it returned? Um, so it was August, I believe it was August 8th that I had found out when I had gone to go get the receipt. That's when I contacted Andrea. Andrea contacted her friend to try to get an explanation from her. Um, I guess a, a couple days had gone by and the girl finally returned the car. And the next day is when I got the final receipt. Okay. Uh, yeah. She doesn't do well with cars. Did she hurt herself in the accident? She told you yes. that? What happened? Um, what did she tell you happened? Her spine. Um, she had fractures in her spine. <laughs> Broken but, bones. like, yeah. I, I mean, in that moment, that's not why I was texting her. Mm -hmm. And, like, I I'm feel like I'm pretty understanding and kind. Like, I wasn't trying to say, like, I don't care about your well-being. But at that point. She didn't care about your pocket. Yeah, every, every time that I had... You should have said, are you living? Are you going to live? <laughs> she's texting me. She I said, think yeah. To... She said, okay, now where's my money? Exactly. <laughs> um, so every time that I was reaching out to her, it seemed like she was just giving me an excuse. Of course. Oh, I'm in the hospital. Let me hear from you, ma'am. Yeah. Where do you want me to start? Defend well, yourself. So if you don't want to defend yourself, I'll just I, grant her her judgment. When I had got the car um, in July... Mm -hmm. That, you know, obviously, like, I got it. I went to the family reunion or whatever. Me and Courtney, Courtney was never out of the loop when it came to the car. The only time when she out of the loop was when I gave the car to somebody else to return and went totally wrong. But when I was in CT, I told her that something had came up and I wasn't coming back at this date. And I had gave her the extra money that had went towards that extra extend time for the times that I did have the car and I was aware that the car was out. Um, the day that the car was supposed to be returned. I was going, like, as Courtney says, there was issues at work with me yelling and all that other stuff. So she could have expressed also that I'm always late and stuff for work. So I was always late and tardy and stuff. So I couldn't be late again. I was all, like, literally told not to be late again or I'm going to, like, get suspended or reduced hours. So I couldn't be late. I had my friend drop me off, and then I had her bring the car to Enterprise. So I've known this girl for years. She's very, like, I, I thought she was trustworthy or whatever. So 
You, it was, you thought she was trustworthy. Yeah, I mean, I guess she thought <laughs> she I was She let you down, but... did she? Plaintiff Courtney Marr is suing her former friend, who claims after she got in a near-fatal car accident, Courtney couldn't have cared less. Go ahead, ma'am. So, yeah, so basically, I, I gave her the car. She was supposed to return it. She called me and said that um, she got into traffic and she couldn't make it at four or whatever, but something just came up. If she gives me the money for the car to like for the extra day because it would have been extended anyways because it's past four o'clock so either way i would have had to pay courtney another 68 or 70 dollars i think it was for a day to because the car already passed four honestly i was really just like you know what whatever just make sure that car is returned first thing in the morning i, I need you to call me when it happens now i worked that morning at 9 a.m so 10 a.m so i wasn't able to you know go and do that and meet her and all that other stuff so she kept it overnight she facetimed me and then she put the phone in her pocket and she was talking to somebody who was like, oh, the car looks good. They, I can hear doors opening. She went inside. She signed it off. She said she dropped it off. I'm like, all right, I got to go. My manager came to the host stand. I'm at the host stand. I'm just at that point. I never called in a price to double check to see if the car was really returned or not, because I'm thinking it really was returned. Courtney never called as well, so because we're both thinking it's returned or whatever. Also, Courtney didn't know I gave the car to the other girl to return, but... We both, neither did we call to make sure that the car was actually returned. Courtney took my word and I took her word. And then when Courtney called me, I think it was maybe three weeks after that. What's your defense to not paying for the car that you had, you gave to someone else without her permission and all the other things that happened to it? Why wouldn't you be responsible? I feel like I wouldn't be responsible because I wasn't the person who who's should be? driving the... Who should I feel be? Like who should Jessica be responsible? Should be responsible. Pardon me? The, the, my friend, the other girl. Okay, well, you need to sue her because today you're going to pay her. You're responsible to her. She has nothing to do with your friend, doesn't know what you did, doesn't care what you do until something goes wrong and you have to pay her. And so yeah. that's what you're going to have to do. I'm going to advise you, young lady, you sound very, very irresponsible. You're fussing and fighting on the job where your colleagues can hear you. They hear all your business, go gossip about it. Now she's on national television talking about it. By your own admission, you're late all the time? You think you're gonna make a you think you're gonna keep a job like that? Who's I mean, gonna hire you? Who's gonna keep you once they find out you're chronically late? And then of course you neglected her friendship, you abused her friendship, quite frankly. And so I'm gonna grant her judgment and advise you to become more responsible as you're gonna have a lot of uh, problems in your life ahead of you. Good luck to you. Thanks. Judgment for the play. We are civil, but I'm not seeing a, uh, a long-term friendship. I'm not really concerned about a friendship right now because it's just no point. If I'm not trusted, there's no friendship, you know?